You can see from this gate that the mine obviously took some, uh, made some effort to safeguard it, but clearly it doesn't meet modern standards. It's, um, it's bar spacing is too wide to um, keep people out, and it's it's falling apart. Through that 150 years, people have dug holes in the ground and brought wealth out of the ground. And unfortunately, after they brought the wealth out of the ground, they left that hole behind. And that's why our program is here, so we can, we can fill those holes in. Well, I'm uh, Bill Powell, Riley Powell's dad. He was murdered with his girlfriend, Breezy and their bodies was disposed in uh, one of the mine shafts out here. And we searched the desert all over trying to find these kids and uh, we couldn't find them so they had to be underground. And Unfortunately, abandoned mines have been used for criminal activity and the mine closures that we do can eliminate the opportunity for that activity and protect the public safety that way. There are people who like to explore abandoned mines, and I understand the appeal. However, for the general public, they don't have the necessary training to do that appropriately, and so we push the message, stay out, stay alive for everybody. Let's go check that out next. When you're prepared for it is when, when, when you eliminate all the danger for it, the danger aspect. It's like with any other sport, you know, you, you, uh, you gear up for what you're getting into. We come out to these mines, we're prepared. We know what we're getting into. We have oxygen meters, we have uh, plenty of light, flashlights, you know, multiple, multiple backup batteries. We have people that know where we're going, know when we're coming out. There's a lot of interesting stuff out here. And like I say, there's probably more people in these mines. We were, we were lucky that we found our kids, very lucky. There's other people who haven't found theirs and uh, probably never will.